new information on Vince Williams' status after last night and also updates on the guys who are doubtful, questionable. Yeah, he'll be out. Uh, got imaging done today. We'll have more of an update in the next couple of days. Uh, Marcus back with the team, just getting over his illness. We'll ramp him up over the next couple of days. I expect him to be out tonight. What about um, Cam? And, uh, uh, Cam could be available. Not sure if he'll he'll play or not. Uh, he's been ramping up over the last couple of days, progressing well. Um, obviously been in minutes since he's you know played 5-on-5, five five, but there's a chance he could get in the game. Conchar? Conchar, I, he's out with an illness. Oh, with the, you know, a couple guys dealing with illnesses and things like that, has that impacted the way you've constructed things over the last couple of days since, you know, a lot of guys are dealing with uh, that type of thing? In terms of like rotations or just or yeah, yeah, just interactions like, do you, that no, cold season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like minutes, like are you, you know? <laughs> No, I mean, I, we're, you know, obviously we're, uh, I think we've had different ways. We had almost a full roster and then we lost a number of guys and almost got back full. And then, you know, brief minute there, you know, whether it's injury or illness. So uh, not really impacting the rotations. Obviously that's where, you know, Cam's been ramping up, you know, you know, for, for the opportunity. And he may get his now with a couple guys still dealing with some illnesses and the unfortunate news, you know, with Vince getting a confirmed ankle sprain. Um, but, you know, in terms of, you know, the, the health, you know, we try to make sure guys are, you know, staying healthy, washing their hands and all that stuff. It's just part of, you know, the nature of the season. Uh, Taylor, so um, Des and Luke are both shooting um, on a per minute basis, lower amount of three point attempts than they have um, historically the past couple of years. Um, is that just a s small data point that's going to be normalized or is there like kind of a shift to kind of manufacture some looks for them to get cleaner looks from three to kind of turn these three-point struggles around that's at the end of the team. Yeah, I mean, it's something I've definitely been, uh, you know, mindful of, obviously, with, you know, the speed that we're trying to play at. It's definitely been inconsistent. You know, those guys have been drivers a lot of times, um, you know, and they've been the ones that have been setting up their teammates. Obviously, you know, Des is just shaking off the rust, you know, last couple of games, you know, the ball hasn't been going in. So, um, you know, as fast as we're playing, the connective, you know, tissue that we're playing with and all that stuff, maybe that's kind of a factor in maybe that volume going down a little bit, but it's definitely mindful of I got to find more ways to get them shots and not slow us down and have all these, you know, call plays and trying to dial up ATOs and sometimes it's the defense taking them out. I mean, I would imagine those guys, especially right now, um, you know, with, with the rotations, those are guys that they're trying to, you know, cut off right at the gate. So um, I'm mindful of it. I got to figure out where to get them the ball. We got to figure out how we're playing fast. I can open up shots for them. I thought Luke got some good looks last night. And, you know, I think credit to the defense. They're trying to get these guys off the line more than they've done in the past. But speaking of Dez, we were talking to him after the game yesterday, and you know how he is. So he's just like, uh, you know, this is this is just one game. Like, the numbers are gonna, you know, eventually be what they're supposed to be. But I say that to say, um, what have you noticed about him and his progression? as this kind of leader in the locker room since he's been here in his five seasons. Yeah, the great thing about Des is he's so steady and he's consistent. And, you know, I think there's usually a moment during the season, you know, in his time with us that he's kind of had maybe a little bit of a, I'm not going to call it a slump because he's just underperformed, you know, and he, he holds himself to a high standard. Obviously, he was frustrated last night. You know, your boy says, I, I got to be better. We all got to be better. Um, so I'm glad that he takes on that leadership role. He knows the impact he can have, not just as a player, but especially as a leader, you know, continue to get these guys go out there playing the full 48 minutes, playing hard, giving that effort every single time. And he's challenged himself to do that, you know, even more. So he's usually had this moment, you know, once a season, and he usually bounces back pretty, pretty quick. I know, you, I know you don't want to take any opponents lightly, but last night against Denver, you had a team that had been having some, some struggles with Jokic out, and they responded with a big effort. Um, given some of the issues that Philly's been having, are you, are you expecting a similar kind of big effort from them tonight? Well, I just hope uh, I'm, I'm focused on us. I, I can't focus on what the Sixers, you know, have going on. Um, we've got to bounce back from our performance last night, you know, especially after beating Denver in game one and knowing that they were going to come out playing hard. We knew we had to step up everything we did in game one, and we didn't do that. So um, our guys usually respond, especially, you know, on the second night of a back-to-back. If we lose that first game, we, we watched film just a moment ago about where we got to get better and what are our keys, in regards to the opponent. So we're just focused. On us. Coach Tom McGinnis with the Sixers. I'm just curious, this is not necessarily about tonight, but when you go into the huddle with the whiteboard, what percentage of the time are you saying, guys, we're going to run like one of your plays as opposed to drawing it up in the dirt? Let, let's try this. And you, you come up with something completely new, whether it's a sign out of bounds or an actual set, like where it's an original play, like they're, they're guarding it this way. Let's try this, or let's just run one of our plays, and you guys know that. Yeah, I, mean, I 
it's hard to put a percentage on. I mean, a lot of times when we're on defense coming out of a timeout, I, I rarely, you know, talk about, you know, an offensive play. I talk more about offensive concepts. When we're on offense, you know, I'm just kind of reading the flow of the game. And sometimes I'm using our sets to get us into our principles, you know, in our movement patterns. And then sometimes I'm down to plays that we've practiced, we've used, you know, many times before based off of what the defense has shown us. So combination of everything, you know, hard to predict what the percentages are. Coach, I know you just said not concerned about or have to be more focused on yourself and the Sixers, but with the health stuff that they've been dealing with a lot, there are some similarities between what you guys were dealing with last year, with, with especially with star players. Just can you speak to the challenges of what that is like as a coach when you're trying to mix and match lineups and pull the right levers and just when, when you don't have your full complement of guys throughout the year? Yeah, I mean, the biggest takeaway I had last year, it's a great opportunity to develop. Um, obviously, everyone's going to talk about chemistry and everyone's going to point to the standings and the results and all that stuff. But, you know, are you pouring into, you know, the standard of play that you have and, and trying to make it uniform no matter who's on the floor? That's how we've always built our, our rosters. And obviously, we have unique guys that empower that even more. Um, obviously, dealt with a lot of injuries last year, but it's never a defeated mentality. It's never a woe is me mentality. This is a definitely not a forgiving league. You got to go out there and you've got to earn everything. So last year was more about controlling our controllables and helping these guys develop and try to go out there and compete at a high level every single night. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Appreciate it.